Right, okay, peasants and followers and obviously people of utter sheer amazement. Well, welcome back, you fuckers. Uh, okay, right, now what we're going to be doing, we're now going to be starting the dough, okay? So we're now to get dough starting. So I've got a pan of water here. Now, how I want to make this uh, short crust pastry um, is I want it to be uh, almost like a pork pie texture. So I want it to be quite lardy but buttery at the same time. Well, before we do any of that, right, we're going to grate some shit. Now, a lot of people will be saying to me, well, at the end of the day, we know that you're amazing, but this is almost an impossibility that you're going to be coming up with. And I'm afraid to say that it's not, okay? So in here, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to whack in some Gruyere, okay? We've got some Gruyere cheese, right? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to grate this, all right? So we want to get on that larger, greater situational of ability, and uh, and that is how we are going to be going now. Uh, in obviously in this pro uh, progress, we have in this process. Sorry, I don't want to be talking about progress. I'd rather not have any progress at them. Yeah, I really wouldn't. A lot of people, you know, in the country, would be thinking, wouldn't it be nice to just get back to French? Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, in about 1995 or four, and where you know shit was just boring. Yeah, shit was just boring. Yeah, but do you know what happens in boring shit? Nothing rubbish happens. Okay, okay, you know things are a bit boring and shit like that. Things are plodding along, you know. But you know, in the in the world of aspects of, of groovy situations, you do, you just don't know about them because they haven't happened yet. And uh, and that is the situation of the country. Right. Okie dokie. Now, uh, so I've got a mixture of Korea and Red Leicester. I want to whack that in. Not just yet. Yep, yeah, not just yet. Now, I need to whack my cheeses away because we don't want too much cheese in there. There's a lot of cheese in there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's why I need mean, the towel just fell off my shoulder. Fuck's sake. Right, there's a lot of cheeses in there. I'm gonna flap it on through uh, pure ability and textual uh, fucking awareness. Right, okay, so we're doing a dough, right? First thing we wanna do, that is on. That's just boiling water. Now, obviously, we don't do measurements on the channel yet, so I've probably got fucking far too much dough, right? Okay, that's that situation. Cheese in. Just chuck it in. So I reckon that's about I reckon, right, percentage-wise, that's probably about 75% red lesser to about 35%, 70, 80, 90, yeah, 25% uh, Gruyere, right? Right, salt. I'm going to take nice sea salt, right? I'm going to take a nice bit of sea salt in now. And I do want a bit of pepper, but I want to go, um, I'm going to go a mixture of white pepper and I am going to go black pepper. Pepper, but I want to get the finer bits of the black pepper. So that's why it's nice to just grind your pepper and shit like that, right? So let's get that roughly mixed in and get ready before what's going to be happening right now. Okay, right, butter. Right? I want about, let's put in the lard first. Let's see what we're saying about the lard. Right, I want lard whites. Let's do it. Right, I want about, I'm going to go for about 60% lard in that water, and that's going to melt, so I'm going to whack that right up now, right, okay, and then about, so I've already taken a bit out of this block already, so that would have been about half there, and about half butter, alright. So it's going to be quite a buttery, lardy affair, all right? But we've done stuff to, obviously, the, um, the dough, okay? Or the flour, right? So now what else we could do, to be honest with you, is what I'm thinking about doing. Um, you know, we've added salt, haven't we? So I was about thinking about breaking up a raw chicken stock cube, but... No, I'm not going to do that. We've already got, I've already salted it, right? 
and the, the, the not sticking uh, chicken stock cubes or beef cubes or whatever they're really good not that not no, I wouldn't think about sticking like a gelatine uh, even if it's a chicken one but you know that like the actual dry stock cubes they're cool but you've got to remember they do it's like my oven was speaking to me they do contain a lot of salt yeah so you've got to be careful all right so we want to whack this right up that is right up right now while that is doing its thing and it's starting to sort its life out we can move it over there because we've got other things to be thinking about and that is starting to make the gravy all right so i've got the oven on anyway because i need the oven on all right uh, because we're going to have to heat up that pan to do the roast potatoes, right? Okay, so we've now got to start thinking about this gravy. So I've had this in the oven for about an hour, just heating up and melting down a bit, right? So now we're going to have to start thinking about severe situations, yeah? And severe situations on fucking making a gravy edge, yeah? We don't, we're not making gravy, we're making gravy edge. Yeah, great visibility is about what's going on. Yeah, so let's get concentrated on it. Let's get out the uh, magic platform of pure Michelin fucking stardom this year. And we're bringing it out. She's coming out for a fucking triumph of ability. Uh, that feels a bit greasy on now. I'm going to try and hide my hands. You can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing. It's all gushy gushy. Right, okay. Let's get things fucking moving. Right? So I want a pot. And I want... A, I'm going to want a fairly biggish pot. I'm hoping that's going to be big enough. So, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start to now feed some of this right, I'm going to chuck that spoon over there for a minute because I'm going to need that right so what I want to be doing is now starting to put some of this in here right won't be all of it right let's get that let's get the spoon of amazement I, I know where, I, I know where um, uh, an actual wooden spoon is gone it's in the fridge so that's just how that's going to be right so we need to now pass all these amazing flavours, really get them rubbed round. I mean, you could even, if it weren't too hot, you could do it with your hands, I suppose, right? So if you want to be able to start rubbing these round. Right, okay, now, while I'm talking about rubbing round, okay, I had a bit of a rub down in the uh, uh, office bog at work. Uh, I had a bit of, I, I, well, I've had no curry, so I don't understand what's actually gone on, but I had a massive splutter up, and it was hot to fuck, and it was so warm, right, I actually almost jumped off, as I, you know, one of those where, like, because I was at work today, and I, you know, I'm not being bad, I'm not being bad at all, right, um, but, you know, there was quite a few times in the morning before 12 o'clock, right, that I had to go outside, and uh, for a certain reason and to release them really i knew that they were going to be like really toxic gases of doom of gloom right uh, and i just had that feeling and i just thought oh this is going to be a nightmare uh, and uh love and uh, as you know things have happened during the day um i already had a scheduled zoom meeting with the lower echelons of mitchies earlier uh, and it just coalesced. It just coal coalesced with that, really, to be honest. Yeah. Right now, so we've got a couple of updates. Well, we've got quite a lot of updates, to be honest. Yeah, but we will get into them. Right, first update we're going to be talking about is obviously Double Agent uh, One uh, One Twenty Two. Right, that's now boiled. So I'm going to take this down now. All right. So right, so we've got the idea. We know what we're going to be doing. All right. So I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm gonna to have to. Um, I'm gonna to have to chuck that back in because I've got a now. I, I def. I have to make the dough right. So because time is sort of like pressing and shit like that. So I'm just gonna whack this over here. Right, and we gotta get on with the fucking dough, right? Because that is just quite important that I do that. Right, okay. Now I'm gonna need wooden spoon. So wooden spoon is occupied at the moment. So I'm going to have to unoccupy it 
because I is that is going to be a vital component, right? Vital component, opponent, 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 Italy that is going on right now. Right, I need wooden spoon. Wooden spoon is back. Wooden spoon's back in the house, mate. Do you know what I mean? So, right, so we know we've got the lard and the fat in now. We need to start getting this sorted out. Right, we know this is hot. Right, so this is how we're going to do it. Right, we're going to whack it in. I'm just going to whack all of it in. Okay, and if I have to add more flour, then I have to add more flour and it's fine. And I'm going to have to add quite a lot of flour actually, but that's not a problem. That's how I want it. Because I actually want to create some dough anyway, so I'm not that bothered. So. Okay, so I'm just going to take wooden spoon, that's fine. And that's fine. So that's going to be really, we've got more than enough, because I want to do, I want to try, I know I'm going to have to make at least two pies, because the mixture I've got, that filling, that is in the fridge at the moment, right, that's nice and cool, right. Um, yeah, that's fine, that's beautiful. It's nice, it's smelling nice and buttery as well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be nice, so that's cool. That's all good, that's all you need to do. Right, let's get it all mixed in there properly, and that's it. Once it starts feeling to be able to come away, right, from the actual bowl itself, then you know it's going to be all good in the hood. Right, so now what we want to do is we're just going to... I mean, we could do it on here, actually, I suppose. Right, let's do it on here. Okay. So, that's probably a little bit too much, to be honest with you. Fuck it. Right, it's fine. It's not a problem. Right, okay. Let's, let's build it out. So, we can see it's very... It's got a lot of... A lot of fats in that. This is going to be a really, really, really groovy pastry. I'll tell you I can already, I already know already, it's feeling amazing, right? So we just want to mix all that in. And don't go like mental, you just want to just lump it, yeah? You don't want to be going like too mad on it, to be honest with you. Right, I mean, I've probably got far too much, I've got far too much flour on that, so I'm going to empty that. Right, it's just I've just got I've just fucking spilt half the flour all over the bin. It's all right, it's all right. right, so I haven't got to worry about stickage on this at all, obviously. Right, because it's just plain flour with loads of butter and fat in it. The fucking Gruyere cheese, the red lesser cheese, salt and loads of fucking pepper. Right, and that is basically that. So I've got plenty of dough. Right. To make these pastries now, to make this pot, make the pies. Well, I'm making probably two pies, all right? Um, yeah. So let's. That's that. That's fine. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Now next, what well, I want to start to get going now, right? And this is really. Um, I see what we'll do. Right. I, I'm. Do you know what I was? I was hoping today, right? Um, that it would be a part four done. It's obviously not going to be a part four done, right? Um, it will be another one. If it is a part five done tonight, um, I think there's a chance of that. But it's it's looking it's looking possible. It's looking looks like if I did, right, I will be literally paralytic, which I will. I am willing to do, right? Um, let's just before we do anything else, I need to get this in the freezer, right? So I've got to get this cold down, but yeah, it's obviously not. I'm not going to be out unless I pause the phone and um, and then just resume like hours later because I've got to get this in the in the fridge, right? Uh, or in the freezer. I'm going to do it in actually to get it cooled right down for at least an hour, right? So shit. But obviously, this is not how we do it at work. I'm obviously doing it like this because I'm a bit pissed, so, uh, you know what I mean? So normally what I would do at work is probably do something more like that. Right, let's just uh, cut it out. It's okay, it's not bad. I mean, the, the clean from my use at work is a lot better quality than this, obviously, but this ain't too bad. I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. 
Right, okay. Right, so I need to get that dough completely cooled down so I've got any chance of shaping it onto the pies itself, right? Right, so I'm gonna whack that. I'm gonna whack it in the freezer, mate. Yeah, because it's only gonna be an hour. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Nice yeah, one. Nice right, so I've whacked that in the freezer. Everything's all in now. Right. Yeah, so let's just do that. So that's that's all pushed in good in the hood, right? Okay, so we've all seen. So right, I'm back. I'm back. Right. So obviously we've all seen obviously the uh, making of the gravy, right? So that has to happen. Right. So what I'll do, right? Like to save any like, I mean, unless you want to like actually are willing to like literally watch me uh, do this. I mean, I suppose you could, I mean, at the end of the day. So, I mean, and obviously, right, let's just get back on to making the gravy. Right, so the rest of that goes in, right? Okay, so that, that dish has to be sorted out now, right? Right, uh, yeah, so anyway, so I had a meeting anyway with the low echelons of the Mitchies, yeah? And uh, we are discussing the uh, situation with Double Agent 122. So he's in the midst of making his own submarine. He's made the hull. Uh, he's starting to um, uh, collaborate the technical pieces like the engine and things like that. Now he's decided he's had a number of options of engines. Uh, nuclear fucking engines, diesel engines, um, uh, electrical battery powered engines. Uh, but he hasn't decided to go down that route, okay? So he faults himself well at the and he's quite a, you know, he seems to be quite a very ingenuity sort of agent sort of geezer and uh, and very like, you know, uh, with a lot of stuff. Um, but basically he's decided to go down the route of uh, uh, wind-powered uh, uh, um, regenerative energy um uh, submarine, submarine power usage. So basically, what he's got, he's designed. I've seen the designs for it. He's got like you imagine like a submarine, but only like a like miniature, like for like fucking, like you can you can stand up and walk about in it, and it's about I don't know 25, 30 meters long, and it's about I don't know eight foot deep, and uh, but he's got he's gone for wind powered, right? Which I thought was quite actually quite interesting, because you know don't forget where he's launching from, which is Iceland. It's quite windy round there, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So up on his on one of the lower decks on the top of the actual submarine, when he's surface, it'll pop up, and then it'll go all windy, and it'll spin around, and it'll produce power. Now he has got he ha he isn't like completely do lally like our government. Right, he wants to go a bit environmental, but he's still thinking, well, at the end of the day, you know, if things ever did get a bit fucking spicy, um, and I don't know, a fucking small seagull flew into the fucking wind machine, blitzed itself, and then knocked out a propeller, I'm going to look like a bit of a knobby, don't I? So that's, that's basically how he said it to him. Right, I've got enough juice in this now. Right, let's knock that out, that's fine, that's all good in the hood. Let's wash wooden spoon. Is that, it's not the main wooden spoon. Where's wooden spoon? I've, I've lost wooden spoon. I've lost wooden spoon, I can't find wooden spoon. Oh, I'm getting all distressed. Where's wooden spoon? Oh, right, okay, so, yes, yeah, so that's basically his fault. So he's come up with another solution as well. He's having backup nuclear power engine. So in one hand he's going like all green PC and all that shit and fucking save the planet which doesn't actually need to be saved because it will basically uh, just save itself because it's a planet. Uh, that, that's what makes me laugh about human beings. We think we've actually got some form of uh, power of stopping where the planet's going to be going naturally anyway and you're just a bunch of knobheads. You know, okay, you know, I mean, it's just, just fucking hell, it's just that is. Right, so, we've got the gravy, or almost like a juke, right, at the moment. Okay, so I'll show you that. So there we go, let's have a look at that. Look at that, that's quite dark. Right. So, I don't know, can they 
you see that or so you pretty you're pretty about to see it better if I use like an actual spoon or something like that. No, I'm not camera and I has it gone down? Have I got droppage? So I know droppage can be delicate on my channel. Oh my word. Yeah, it tastes pretty fucking mental, so let's just say that. But right, that tastes lush. Okay, so the dough's been made, the gravy's been made, the sweet is made. All I've got to do now is turn up the heat on the oven, right? And start getting the oven prepped for me to start whacking in uh, the roast potatoes. Uh, and the roast potatoes are going to be on about the same heat as what the pies will be going in the oven at. The only thing is I'll just have to keep a very close eye on both fucking situations. But the dough's got to sit in the fridge for, freezer for at least an hour. The gravy's made. All you sort of fucking keeping with us. I'd like to say, right, we've hit, hit a bit of a big milestone uh, uh, today. Uh, because we've got uh, uh, 370 of us in the game, yeah? Uh, so, a lot of that is down, down to me. Uh, a lot of that is down to the gang members and obviously the squad members, uh, including, um, and thank you for the comment, uh, Commanding Officer Pelosi. Uh, that is uh, very well done. Uh, yes, I'm a bit of a soldier to use uh, to, to my squad and gang, yeah? Uh, that doesn't want to stay up there, so I'll have to just, uh, just use a bit of physics there. Um, and yes, Ron, yeah, don't worry about Nigella. Um, I think we've got issues. I think uh, James Flashboy Martin is uh, on the case. I've got updates about that, or I've had news on, uh, on, on what's been going on with Ramsey, Ainsley, Nigella Big Tits, and James Flashboy Martin. Um, we've had issues with Todd. Bob is outside, okay? I'm not going to do anything with Bob tonight. Um, I've had a look out the window and basically he's eating a, uh, a, a, a Greg's uh, beef and onion pasty, it looks like. And he's now... Is he now yeah, he's just now like... Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's now just... Uh, Tucking himself into, because uh, he's got his own little uh, home kettle in his like, little car and that. He's now just basically tucking into uh, basically a beef. It looks like a beef and tomato pot noodle. Um, we're cooking amazement tonight. We've done the dough. Gravy's made. Swede's done. Um, sort the oven out for the fucking mosties. We're doing some serious shit. Double Agent 122 is coming on fine. Um, I'd like to thank everyone. All us gang members, squad members, and the new gang members that have just arrived, which is actually head gang leaders, Tom Kerridge's department, to sort out. Right, I'm going to call that a part four. And, uh, I'll see you lovely fuckers in part fucking five. And with that, I'll just fucking leave with you, I suppose. Yeah.